Hi, for Manji and Kim here, and I'm going to quickly mention the albums that I've got this year that I'm really, really into right now. First of those three albums I want to mention is Drones by Muse, uh, but I've already done a video talking about that, so I suggest maybe you check that video out. So I'm not going to talk about that anymore on this video. Uh, the other two albums that I've been really into this year are both metal albums. I'll deal with a more controversial one last. <laughs> Before that, I want to talk about an album which was released in the late 90s uh, and is something of a classic album for fans of doom metal and stoner metal. It is Electric Wizard's Dope Throne. I know I've mentioned this album in my history of hard rock and heavy metal, but it wasn't until this year that I actually bought it. Um, there are quite a few albums I've talked about because I knew they were important and I read about them and maybe even listened to snippets of them so that I knew what I was talking about. Uh, but nothing prepared me for just how much I would love this album when I finally downloaded it and let it into my life. I love that deep, growly, gravelly sound of doom metal. The bass-heavy, slow, but apocalyptically crushing sound that bands like Cathedral, Yob, My Dying Bride, etc. make. And I already had another Electric Wizard album, Come My Fanatics, uh, which I was reasonably fond of, mainly because of the song Wizard in Black, although I've also discovered how awesome Son of Nothing is on repeat listens. But Dope Throne. Dope Throne blows Come My Fanatics out of the water. <laughs> Not only is it crushingly heavy from start to finish, but it has some excellent psychedelic space rock freakout moments as well, such as the spaced out epic Weird Tales. Barbarian is a favourite of mine, with the line, you think you're civilised, but you will never understand. One of those weird moments when I can take a metal lyric about being marginalised and misunderstood and perversely apply it to some of my feelings with regards to being trans. <laughs> And then the final track, Dope Throne, is like the best Sabbath track that never was, a ten-minute piece of doom-laden psychedelia that is crushingly heavy and groovy as hell at the same time. The other metal album I've got into this year is Baby Metal's Metal Resistance. <laughs> okay, I know this band gets some sneering from the metal purists, and obviously they are a bit of a gimmick, <laughs> But they're a highly enjoyable gimmick, especially to me personally. For those who don't know, Baby Metal consists of three teenage Japanese girls who mix their J-pop vocals with various types of metal music. It's a bit of a marketing gimmick for sure, but the girls are totally cute and adorable, and, and the mix of sounds is such a unique and at times truly wonderful and bizarre combination that I can't help but feel hyped about it. The album is very varied, and the metal elements certainly sound credible enough. There is a bit of a power metal feel on some of the tracks, but there are heavier metal sounds here too. There are embarrassing moments on here, <laughs> such as Meta Taro's annoyingly parpy weird kind of march feel, or the balladry of No Rain No Rainbow, and the album does seem to become a bit boring around about tracks 5, 6 and 7. But there are some truly great tracks on here. Tales of the Destinies is a weird kind of prog metal track with many different parts to it, and I like it. And final track, The One, is uplifting and anthemic. More pop than metal, but when I'm in the mood I find it very moving. My favourite track is Karate. <laughs> I just love everything about that one. Listen to it and you'll hear why I love baby metal. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I like this album. Possibly it's mostly novelty value. I think I can already tell that only the song Karate will have any kind of staying power for me. But right about now, I love this combination of cheesy pop vocals sung by teenage girls over punchy metal music. I'm a transgender metal fan, okay? My transness means I like pop music with female vocals. And because I never got to be a little girl, there's a bit of a temptation to regress to a lost female childhood of liking all things girly and pink. <laughs> this, I think, explains why I like the J-pop part of baby metal, but I am a metal fan. Uh, the years I spent in the wilderness of my gender dysphoria, including way back before I even understood that it was gender dys dysphoria, has given me a taste for heavy, intense music through which I can channel the darkness in my soul. 
For a while now, I have been longing to have music full of intensity, energy and attitude. Music I can rock out to, but through which I can also express my girliness, my transness, my femaleness. There may be something out there that fits those needs better for me than baby metal, but for the moment, baby metal is helping me to achieve some of that mixture. And they may be a manufactured group and something of a gimmick, but the girls seem sincere in their appreciation and interest in metal, and they are such lovely, adorable kids. More power to them, and the album ain't bad at all, really. Give it a listen. Baby metal! Thanks for watching. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>